the Harbor Freight Cutoff Tool. $20 with a coupon. And that's all it does. Now what if this tool could be made simply and cheaply to use all of these other tools? Here we've got a whole variety of grinding stones, some wire brushes, a Rolex sander, another cutoff on an arbor, multi spur bits, and a couple of buffing pads, and I'm sure there are more things. As a matter of fact, these are all quarter inch, but it would even work on the smaller 1 8 inch Dremel type tools. So this, this one tool can do all of that coming up next. In order to use this tool for all of the tools that I showed you, all you need is this. A 3 8 chuck off of a used drill from a garage sale. They're even new only. They're less than 10 bucks. You can use a keyless chuck too. This is off of a Makita 9.6. Oldie but goodie, but the chuck's still fine. So, let's take this apart. The tool comes with a socket head screw, 6 millimeter by 1.0 thread and a washer and of course your cutoff tool. Save those. Next we'll take the guard off. And we'll mount the chuck. Now before we can do that you're going to have to get a longer screw. This is also six millimeters, but it's one and five sixteenths inches long. Same thread pitch, 1.0. Now, if you look very carefully, what I've done here is I've ground this into type of a cone shape. The reason for that is, is that the, when the jaws are closing, they hit the end of the screw. So it needs to be tapered to clear the jaw. That's a socket head. Here's one I made out of a Phillips. It's a little lower profile. But the main thing is this diameter is 3 eighths of an inch and it's 1 and 5 sixteenths of an inch long. We'll use the socket. Either chuck will probably have to be drilled out a little bit so this will fit all the way through. I use a quarter inch drill. It's just a little bit longer, bigger, and I've got three eighths of an inch stick out. This doesn't have to be super, super tight because the tool only goes in one direction and it's always trying to tighten up the chuck rather than making it loose. So there you go. Ready to use all of those other tools. And you actually haven't lost the function of having a cutoff tool because you just put the one in the arbor in here and you're ready to do cutoff. One thing that won't happen is the guard's not going to fit. It's just, it sticks out too far. So if you're going to do anything that needs a guard, I can't recommend personally doing this, but if you've got a, something that you need to reach, go in deep, whatever, and you know it's safe, this is definitely a much more useful tool. For certain operations this chuck is probably a little fat, but for other operations it probably wouldn't make any difference. And it's nice to have the quick changeability. So just to show you that we'll finish that cut. And 
we've got another one of our tools and we'll just deburr it there you have it twenty dollars with the coupon much more useful tool thanks for watching here's a quick shot of a project that's coming up model PT boat powered by four D cell batteries and two electric motors make sure to subscribe so you don't miss this one